Well, Dirk, there's a, a great opportunity for drive technology in the Australian market from the minerals point of view. Our mining industry is huge and also our agricultural industry is very big. As you know, Australia is a big country, a uh, little smaller than the size of the USA, and we have vast resources in both agricultural capability and minerals. And the extraction of those minerals, the harvesting of crops, the uh, processing of all that and the conveying of it to, to the markets or to the docks is huge business for drive technology. There are conveyor lines running hundreds of kilometres throughout the outback of Australia transporting these minerals, so big opportunities. Well, our strengths lie in our, originally our isolation being in the southern hemisphere and out down there in the Pacific, um, we're a long way from anything. And a lot of Australian people had to design their own uh, solutions for their own needs um, in years gone by. Now with modern transport and communication, things have changed a lot. But that left us with a legacy of being able to come up with some great ideas and designs. And uh, two Examples of that is the black box in using aircraft as an Australian design, as is the humble wine cask that you may drink wine from in your, in your daily needs. Um, these are Australian ideas. Um, out of that grew a great innovative capability in design. Um, as our country has only 24 million people, we rely, uh, we're a small market. So over the years, the mass produced countries or the low cost countries have made uh, our manufacturing decline, we can't compete. But our innovative ideas still remain and we're becoming a, a specialist niche market um, producer. And these strengths are, are in, across a lot of industries. Typically aerospace, defence, the largest manufacturing plant for Boeing, for instance, is in Melbourne, Australia, my home city. And that becomes uh, due to our capability in um, New, new ideas, innovative ideas, and niche, niche capabilities. From the mechanical engineering point of view and from the hardware point of view, indeed, we will always be a net importer from the cost manufacturing point of view. And that is to say of series products of high volume mass produced products. So a lot of the European manufacturers, for instance, of uh, geared motors will always have a big market in Australia. Australia's exporting capability will be in our design capability, we do export that, and our niche market uh, applications. As I say, a lot of manufacturers, for instance, my company included, Ronson Gears, uh, we are having to change the way we work and we're doing very clever things and it's desirable to people from outside of Australia, so we're exporting that capability.